So what's your opinion about autonomous solutions in mining? Is it the future? As reported by the Australian Mining Review, BHP recently announced temporarily suspending nickel operations in Western Australia, citing the global oversupply of nickel. BHP intends to review the temporary suspension by February 2027. Komatsu just achieved a major autonomous milestone after having hauled more than 10 billion tons of material with a fleet of over 750 autonomous haul trucks commissioned all around the world at a pace of over 6 million tons per day. Fortescue and Liebherr Mining will jointly develop and validate a fully integrated autonomous haulage solution, which the iron ore miner aims to be the first auto haulage system operating zero emissions vehicles globally, as also reported by the Australian Mining Review. Mining giant BHP plans to request that the Chilean government mediate in talks with union leaders at Escondida to avert a strike at the world's largest copper mine, after union rejected BHP's proposition to set one-time bonuses, extended workdays, and cut benefits. This is the history of one of the best engines ever made. The Caterpillar 3406 engine was released in 1973 and was designed to produce up to 425 horsepower. Pure success on the market, the engine was primarily used in heavy-duty trucks, construction equipment, and generators. In 1987, Caterpillar upgraded the power plant to the 3406B version, which is still seen by many as one of the best engines ever made. This version was capable of producing up to 525 horsepower and a torque of up to 1,800 pounds per foot. In 1993, the American manufacturer upgraded the power plant once again through the 3406C model, boosting the engine up to 625 horsepower and delivering an impressive torque up to 2,050 pounds per foot. Also released in 1993, the 3406E was Caterpillar's first fully electronic diesel engine, featuring advanced electronic control modules that optimize performance and fuel efficiency while reducing emissions. The reference disappeared in 2007. It takes 275 quarts of oil to feed this diesel engine. Chosen by many manufacturers in the mining industry for years, the Cummins QSK60 is the answer when it comes to tough mining applications requiring continuous uptime. But do you even know how powerful that diesel engine actually is? Let's get into it. Powering gigantic mining machines such as the Liebherr 9800, the Cummins QSK60 V16 is available with power outputs rated between 1050 and 2850 horsepower. But let's talk about a much more meaningful metric, torque. With a weight close to nine metric tons, the Cummins QSK60 can produce up to 7,900 foot-pounds of torque, translating to 10,000 newton meters. It holds up to 260 liters of oil, just about 275 quarts. Requiring 180 quarts of coolant, the QSK60 is given with a projected life to overhaul of 1 million gallons of fuel burnt. Running at max capacity, the engine will consume right around 132 gallons of diesel per hour, or 500 liters. This is the best 600-ton excavator in the world. Officially introduced to market in 2021, the Liebherr 9600 was designed to replace the amazingly successful 996 released in 1995. And just like its predecessor, the 9600 is a clear hit in the mining industry. Built in Colmar, France, the Liebherr 9600 has an operating weight of 633 metric tons in backhoe configuration and 645 tons in shovel configuration. Its bucket has a capacity up to 37 cubic meters. Engineered to operate around the clock, the Liebherr 9600 showed exceptional performance on site for the past three years, achieving availability in excess of 93% in the toughest conditions, particularly in Australia. Competing with machines such as the Caterpillar 6060, the Liebherr 9600 can be fitted with three different powertrain options. It is designed to last more than 80,000 working hours, a number far exceeded by plenty of 996s in the past. Let me tell you a few things you didn't know about this engineering marvel. Released in October 1992, the Caterpillar 793B was designed as an upgrade to the 793, which took the industry by storm when it launched in 1991. And just like the previous model, the 793B would make history. Just like its predecessor, the upgraded CAT 793B mining truck featured a mechanical powertrain, a little revolution since no manufacturer before had ever designed a truck of this size that didn't utilize the well-proven diesel-electric drive. With a payload rated at 240 tons, the Caterpillar 793B was powered by an updated 3516 EUI diesel engine rated at 2,650 horsepower. It also featured a new power shift transmission. In 1996, 
the gigantic market hit known as the 793C replaced the 793B. Over a four-year period, Caterpillar sold a total of 550 units of the 793B, an incredible number for a truck of that size. Try to guess the price of this insane 300-pound RC model. You love heavy machinery and big iron? So I'm sure you appreciate die cast and RC models just as well, right? So let's talk about one of the most fascinating pieces that money can buy, the mind-blowing radio-controlled Liebherr 996 mining excavator. Sold by online retailer Toucan Hobby, the amazing 120 scale RC machine is made of heavy metal, leading to a model weighing an impressive 135 kilograms, the equivalent of almost 300 pounds, but it gets even better than that. Running with high capacity batteries, the 996 model features four hydraulic pumps, making the machine as close as it gets to the real deal. For extra realism, black dye is added to a regular RC smoke machine to simulate diesel exhausts. Now after saying all of this, I'm sure you already guessed it. This thing ain't cheap at all. To be more specific, you'll need to spend around 12,000 US dollars to acquire this insane piece of mini machinery for your backyard operations. So, is it worth it? This is the story of what used to be the world's largest dozer in production. If you think about dozers weighing more than 100 metric tons, you obviously think of Caterpillar's almighty D11 or Komatsu's D575, right? But what about the T800 from Russia's Kelyabin Minsk tractor production plant? That was a pure monster. Manufactured in the early 1980s, the giant T-800 dozer was engineered specifically for ripping extra tough frozen rocks in Russia's diamond mines since blasting wasn't an option due to damage to the diamonds, resulting in hairline cracks when polished. Mounted with a 22-foot blade, almost the same as the D-575A, the T-800 was powered by a 820-horsepower diesel engine and featured a three-stage torque converter as well as a four-speed power shift transmission. Soon after being put into service in the Yukut diamond mines, the T-800 suffered from major technical issues and was discontinued from the range after only eight units were built. It still remains to this day, the largest production crawler tractor to be manufactured on the European continent. You've definitely been around a Mack trailer product before, am I right? In 1992, Michael Connie borrowed $8,000 from his mom to start a business focused on repairing commercial truck trailers in a one-bay garage with one goal, simply being his own boss. And so was born the multi-million dollar company, Mack Trailer. Based in Alliance, Ohio, the company quickly started manufacturing frameless trailers, and less than 15 years after its creation, Mack Trailer's product line included dump trailers, flatbeds, drop deck trailers, pneumatic tank trailers, or liquid tank trailers. With an annual revenue right around $360 million, Mack Trailer has grown to encompass over 1.8 million square feet of manufacturing space across 11 plant locations, supported by more than 1,200 employees nationwide. On a yearly basis, Mack Trailer produces on average 7,500 trailers for various applications. So whether you move coal in West Virginia or haul equipment anywhere across the nation, you've definitely been around a Mack Trailer product before. Am I right? <laughs>